This video is going to teach us how to enable a wake up call feature in Asterisk. When we talk about wake up call features, we're actually talking about call files. Before we start talking about call files, let me just say that I'm working in Asterisk version 1.8. I'm running Ubuntu 10.04. We're going to be looking exclusively at extensions.conf and by default that file is located in the Etsy Asterisk directories. Call files located ultimately in var spool asterisk outgoing. And that's where asterisk is going to constantly look for these things called dot call files. Call files end in dot call and call files are read by asterisk and then deleted if their change time is equal to or before the current system time. And a call file is just a set of instructions for how asterisk will place a call. If the call file is in var spool asterisk outgoing then asterisk will begin reading it. Latest O'Reilly manual says to copy the files into var spool asterisk outgoing. Technically, this is actually incorrect. Always create a call file in a unique directory and then move them into var spool asterisk outgoing with the MV command. Otherwise, asterisk may process the call prematurely. This is because asterisk is constantly looking in var spool asterisk outgoing. Copy command actually moves small pieces of the file at a time, and the file can become available to asterisk before it's finished copying. The move command, on the other hand, first fully moves the file into the new specified directory before making it available to the system. Therefore, there's no fear that asterisk will read a half-written call file. I have a context in, again, the dial plan or extensions.conf that I've called wake up. I'm going to match on star 43 star, followed by a 12-digit string. And this 12-digit string is going to equal the change time of the call file that we're creating. And those 12 X's are year, four, the first four are year, the next two are month, the next two day, the next two hour, and the final two are minutes. So what's going to happen is the caller is actually going to pick up dial star four three star. Then the year, month, day, hour, and minute that they actually want the call to come in. And those hours and minutes are in a 24 hour format. This next block of code is actually what's going to interpret this string that was inputted by the user and set the variables accordingly for year, month, day, hours, and minutes. Now join me right here at this system echo line. This is going to be what actually prints the call file itself. And then if you look over here, it's going to input this information into a file, unique ID, dot call. And that's going to make it in the temp directory. Then we will move that file out of the temp directory into var spool asterisk outgoing. Let's take a look though at what is actually in the call file. There's a lot of different fields you can set. The ones I have set are a uh, channel, that's a must. Gotta tell asterisk how it's going to, what channel it's going to seize to, to place the call. In this case, it's a SIP channel and this caller ID, num, is going to be the number of the extension that's setting the wake up call. Asterisk will call this number via the SIP channel when the change time is equal to or before the current system time. Um, I have the caller ID set as a wake up and I've put in a string of four zeros. I'm not interested in anybody trying to call me back. Max retries is set to three. That's the total number of times Asterisk will try to make the call if the call isn't answered. If the call is answered, then the call file is deleted and uh, we're done. Uh, wait time is the total amount of time we'll wait for the rings to occur. In this case, we have 60 seconds. So 60 seconds of ring before it counts that as one try and stops ringing. Context it's going to hop to is play Doctor Who. That's down here. We'll talk about it in a little bit. That's actually going to be uh, what it references. And it's going to reference extension 23 within the context play Doctor Who when it places this call. One thing I didn't include was the retry time. Uh, the retry time is the number of seconds to wait until the next dial attempt. Uh, this defaults to 300 seconds if it's not specified. So make a call. Make that call for 60 seconds. If nobody picks up, then you're going to try a total of two more times, but you're going to wait 300 seconds before you place that second call. Uh, system touch, this is actually going to it dash T. And actually, if, if you look at what the switch, T switch does for touch, um, this is going to be what modifies the change time of the file to set it for what the user uh, specified. So year, month, day, hours, minutes. Um, and remember, the file is still in the temp directory, so that's where we're changing it. The next system line, the move command, we're moving it from temp into that var spool asterisk outgoing. So at this point, the file 
is going to begin being parsed by asterisk. And whenever the t its change time is met, then asterisk will follow the instructions in that call file. And the user is then going to hear a sound file play that says, you have requested a wake up time for, it will speak the hours, it will speak the minutes, and this will be in a 24 hour format. It'll say goodbye and then hang up. And by the way, the playback command by default is going to reference var lib asterisk sounds n. So if you don't have these vm goodbye or requested wake up for, uh, they do have to be gsm files, but you can just drop them into this directory right here. So when finally the call is processed, what's going to happen? Well, I have this doctor play doctor who context. From extension 23, when uh, uh, the, the call is placed, somebody picks up, we're going to wait one second. We're going to play back Doctor Who. Again, reference from var lib asterisk sounds and Doctor Who. If for me, it's the Doctor Who theme song. You can put whatever you want there. You can put a file of somebody yelling, wake up. Or you wouldn't have to say anything. You could just wait 10 and then hang up. I just think it's cool to play somebody a sound, especially Doctor Who theme song. Okay, and that's it. Uh, a little bit of troubleshooting quickly. Uh, if you find that your wake-up calls are working erratically or only when asterisks bounce, check your system time by typing date. Uh, I had this issue. Uh, it turns out my system time was way off because I'm running in a virtual machine. To fix this problem, if you're running Ubuntu, type sudo apt install ntpd. That's going to set a daemon that's constantly going to check your system time and update it accordingly. Uh, if you hear fast busy before you finish dialing, chances are you have a dial plan in your SIP phone that you're using to call from, and you forgot to set the dial plan in that SIP phone. So the call's ig being ignored because you're not allowed to match on star four, three, star, followed by 12 numbers. If nothing's working, check your modules.comp file. Make sure that auto load is set to yes. If it's set to no, then you're going to have to manually load pbxspool.so, and you can stare and compare. I think actually the syntax is load pbxspool.so. Otherwise, calls aren't going to work because this is what actually enables asterisk to go crawl over the var spool asterisk outgoing directory. If auto load equals yes, ignore this step. Asterisk is automatically loading all of your modules. If you don't feel like staring at this code and trying to copy it, you can visit http colon slash slash alta3.com. On the top of the screen, you can then click the downloads link. And if you look on that page, I actually have wake up call code, this text file is sitting in there exactly as you see it here. Go ahead and download it, copy and paste it into your asterisk box, start using the wake up call feature. If you do have any problems, feel free to shoot me an email. I'm Zach Fieser with Alta3 Research. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.